dynamite form for Quinns in the last few weeks. The conversion is good. And geez, these are big men he is punching through. Pete Zamu dismissed on that occasion. Buras. Let's listen to the officials here. Stay outside. Porter. Smith, little hitch kick, looking to find the edge. And the defence was strong, but was it? I've seen a deliberate knock on made by Blue 14. There's only one end in front. It's not trying to, to, to take the ball, it's just to kill the, kill the ball. And then I'm not... All touched down from a kick into goal, so behind the goal line, drop out. Simple. What I love about this is the fact that Marcus Smith knew all yeah. and every single one has stuck so far. So much to have a fast start here because they know various different moments. Bordeaux will have their purple patches. These early skirmishes all been won. Here's Baxter, who's been playing some of his best rugby in the last few weeks. Esther Hayes into the boots. How's that going to wind up? Luku now looks to get it away to Pete Samu, the Australian international. The LDRA. Drive. No, 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 free. Right form, thank you. Smith, line up. Oh, just too far in front of Murley. Driving Bordeaux back upfield, and they do have Matteo. Passages from Bordeaux, and Harlequins on the counter it again. Smith. To Murley, spirals through two. They're stretched. They can both punish each other. They've been fantastic ball around. 21 points to 12. Harlequins lead. Who is buffeted by the tackles. Picked up nicely by Tatapa. Look at the leg drive on that. Can really celebrate that one. Against a very heavyweight pack. Collier. Back. Inside and then here. Come on. Huge carry down the middle. Harlequin's pack has just made mincemeat of that of Bordeaux's, and Porter is away. Slips it to Smith. Liner with work to do. Swing the bat, said the boss. Smith to Esther Hazen. Consider the bat swung in the first half. Let's hammer home the message. And if I'm Yannick Brew, I'm starting. Shine. Blinking almost in disbelief as they look up at the scoreboard and see their men leading by 28 points. Well, you just know it has been the sole focus of half time. Just to shut down that initial surge from the big man, Tatafu again held on the 10 meter line and because of a, a knee problem he had. An ACL issue as. Bordeaux have the wind in their sails. And Lamotte bears down out of that challenge. Referee not particularly concerned. Lovely offloading this from Bordeaux as Lamotte goes to... Such a skill to get into the correct position. Swing your arms round, leave your legs in place, fold your body under the ball. Struggling. They deliver that moment to lift their team. Stefan Lavis with line out possession. Smith to the air. Buros. Here is Green. He's got nothing in his legs. So Smith has a crack. Looks to keep the ball alive. Not so many support runners. All the tweaks. What they have. Trailing by nine. And a decision to be made by Maxime Lucou, who I think is pointed. Go the flags. Still very much in the balance, quite obviously. Smith, who will still believe. He's looking for the 50 22. And he's going to get it. Out. Discussing this tactic, the Harlequins coaches did say it was in reference to, to Karen Pollard, the West Indian batsman who took the place. Their mole has worked very well for them. It's served them well in this game. Can they fire another shot and work themselves back? Breaking all barriers. And they'll take those easier points. Into the midfield goes Bordeaux. Looking to build. Give it a 
go. And they did swing the bat. We knew it was a risk to go to the corner. It looked like they, they wouldn't be uh, taking him off right now. Not with a drop goal attempt lined up. Off the post, obviously. But it's Harlequins restore their six. Marcus Smith just maybe saying that, is he? Harlequins against all odds. Their greatest champion.